few what I picked up from Switzerland. It was this chocolate store shop, so we've got some chocolates. So let's bring them out. So first of all, we've got this chocolate, this the cinnamon flavor together with this gorgeous little chocolate wafers. And we've got some Swiss chocolate. The first one is this one, it's a dark chocolate. And we've got another chocolate here. Really lovely. And we've got Berlin milk chocolate, another milk chocolate, and a hazelnut. And I've got this little cute hard biscuits from there. So all these beautiful chocolates to enjoy from Switzerland. Just to charge you a little bit about my recent trip in Geneva, Switzerland. It was a family trip. We had a really, really lovely time there. It was so nice. It was so peaceful and so quiet. Uh, so I really love the city, I love the vibe of the, of the place, but it, I found it a bit expensive. We knew that before going home, but it's different to know, it's different when you're actually there, when you're actually experiencing it. Uh, for example, the water was five, four pound, four pound 90 uh, francs, Swiss francs, which is nearly five pounds, five euros for just a bottle of water. It's not on the shops, it's on the actual supermarket. It's not like it's the price you pay in a restaurant and it's a bit more expensive. Just in a normal supermarket, the water was the most expensive thing I found. I think the soft drinks were cheaper than water. I don't know why it's that. I found it very interesting that the water was so, so expensive. Uh, and other things obviously was more pricey than anything else, but overall we had a lovely time. We enjoyed the... The Swiss Alps was beautiful, Geneva was gorgeous town, we enjoyed our time there and then we had a little brief um, go because Geneva is very close to France so we popped in one of the small villages in France and see it's cold, it was beautiful, we had a lovely time there as well so it was quite nice uh, short trip to enjoy and see Switzerland for the first time, we've never been, it was always a dream of mine to go and um, explore the Swiss Alps, you know, have a little bit of a look around and see how Switzerland is, what it's all about. So yeah, it was a lovely, lovely trip. We enjoyed our time there and uh, yeah, it was really, really lovely and highly recommended if you've not tried, never been to Switzerland to go and explore the country. It's so beautiful and so quiet and so peaceful. Now I want to share with you some M tips that I finished this week. I like to put them in my vlogs, the empties now, so I don't want to keep too many things around. So I'm going to share with you my empties that I finished this week. I'm just going to share some empties that I just finished this week. And also I'm going to share with you what I picked up from Westman Atelier. But first, let me show you my empties. Uh, the first thing I finished is the Oribe, oops, Oribe shampoo. This is lovely. It smells divine. It cleanses my hair beautifully. It's really nice shampoo, I really love it. My hair is very soft afterwards, they look beautiful. So I highly recommend it. This was a travel size uh, I've used and I'm really enjoying the Oribe hairline so far. So definitely this will be a repurchase for me. Then I finished the mini size fragrance from Jo Malone. It's the Peony and Blush Wet. It's one of my favorite scents from them, absolutely love the scent it's floral it's pretty it's very feminine it lasts on my skin quite well maybe i would say four hours so that's great longevity for joe malone colognes and absolutely love the scent i'm really in love i finished it so i've got one more uh little maybe halfway uh, small like this travel size as well that i want to finish and when i finish that definitely i'm gonna repurchase that perfume this was a Jo Malone um, uh, Blossom uh, perfume. This was a limited edition, 50 ml bottle. It smelled quite refreshing uh, scent. So it's quite like a summery spring scent, which I absolutely loved. It wasn't my favorite one. Uh, so it's a limited edition. They don't bring them all the time. So that was a few years back. It was in the spring, I think, collection when they came out with this 
uh, Nashi Blossom Cologne. It was nice, refreshing, perfect for spring and summer daytime fragrance. It's not a great longevity on my skin. Uh, it lasted maybe two hours maximum. Uh, but I like the fragrance, it was refreshing, but nothing extraordinary that I'm gonna go and repurchase if it comes back on, you know, in store or anything. Uh, so next we've got from Rosing, this is a brow gel, absolutely love this one. This was a travel size from Rosing, lasted quite a lot of a long time. I really, really enjoy this um, brow gel. I'll show you the brush. It's finished now. It was really lovely. Incob my eyebrows perfectly. It was beautiful, holding, you know, the brows very nicely. It didn't make them feel crunchy or, you know, um, it was very moisturizing for my brows. So I thought it was a nice treatment as well. So I really enjoyed that. Next I've got from Westman Atelier, I finished the mini size, the contour steak and biscuits. As you can see, it's only a little left on the bottom, which I can't remove my brush anymore. I just use my finger for the last bit. Uh, I've got a full size now, so I'll start using that one. So this is what is left in there, not a lot, just on the bottom of the stick. This, it doesn't go any further up, so I'm just have to dig in with my finger and take the remaining off. But I really, really love this. I have a backup. This is the perfect shade of contour stick. It contours my skin beautifully, so I highly recommend it. I've got a full size and I'm really loving it. And last but not least, I've got an SPF from Haru Haru Wonder. The Black Rice Moisture Airlift Daily Sunscreen SPF 50. It was absolutely lovely. Great base from America. Great. I uh, love the consistency of the, mo of the moisturizer of the SPF. It was really absorbing quickly on the skin, feeling no white cast, left no white cast after that. It's just perfect base for my, for my makeup. I absolutely love this sunscreen, definitely. I'm thinking of repurchasing when I finish my SPF. I've got some now that I'm going through, but when I finish that, highly recommend this one. It's really lovely, lovely consistency, lovely protection, lovely under makeup. Absolutely in love with this one. And now let me show you what I picked up from Westman Tillier. It's a super loaded it and highlight in the shade Pot de Soleil. It comes this house, this beautiful linen pouch with the gold Westman Atelier. It's beautiful baby pink. Absolutely love this pouch. And we've got a beautiful uh, compact in gold. It's the shade bronze. I don't know if I can open it with one hand. Oh, I don't. So I'll show you what it looks like. So, oops, this is the shade. I'm gonna do a detailed video. Probably the video will be done before uh, before this video comes up. So probably I'll do a video showing you how I use this beautiful bronzy tint. Hello, just come back uh, from the church. Today is Sunday. I made myself a nice cup of coffee to enjoy and absolutely loving. Uh, the super loaded highlight that I'm wearing, the Westman Atelier. You see how glowy and how gorgeous it is. Absolutely loving it. So I'm gonna have a little drink and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Um, it's a quiet, quite cold outside this morning, but it's quite nice to be inside the house, enjoy a nice cup of coffee. So I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. Have a little rest, reset for the week to come. I'm going back to work tomorrow morning, so I need to get ready for that later on. So I'm gonna have a chilled afternoon, watch maybe a movie, some YouTube videos, and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. So yeah, I just wanted to give you an update about the Westman Atelier Super Lot Highlighter in Pot de Soleil. Absolutely loving it. Look how glowy and how beautiful it is. Uh, really, really loving it and highly recommend it. So enjoy my drink and I'll see you later guys. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna have to leave this vlog here. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in my next one soon. Bye bye everyone.